that outpatient and see you're gonna get all the benefits of breathing in aromatherapy. And I'm gonna get it warmer and warmer in here. In simplest terms, my job for the next 12 minutes is to get you all to sweat. It is gonna get hot in here. You are not required to stay the whole time. If your body is reaching its boundaries, please, 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 please respect them. If you listen to them, you're more than welcome to take a step out. creator event right when I got back I was in a meeting with Chloe and Amy to finalize some planning for our MBTI speed dating show which is really exciting. Chloe has this theory that N's go together and S's go together and also we're excited because a lot of our friends are attending. I can't believe it's already happening. It's coming up so soon. I feel so bad. I've been late to most of our meetings because I've just been running back and forth between like creator events and like plans. I order groceries. I've gotten into the habit of ordering groceries since like 2020 and I've just never been able to break up with it. I think going to the grocery store in New York City is a little bit of a hassle, especially if you're single and doing it by yourself because you have to carry a lot of things. Like, I'm gonna put these away because they've just been sitting outside my door for like hours while I was at the event. I'm addicted to these chips. These are the kettle wrinkle cut chips in the flavor dill pickle. It's so yummy. I didn't know beans came in a little juice box looking thing like this. spend some time during the weekend to figure out what I want to eat throughout the week and I've been really liking this girl's recipes. I forget her name or the website's name off the top of my head. The way that she sets up her instructions and everything that you need to do and have on her website is really clear and there's no ads. I think the most frustrating part about cooking and following a recipe is just all the ads and pop-ups. It just becomes really overwhelming. Because I've made two of them and I thought they were absolutely delicious. So I'm just going to continue working through her little list. I don't know how often she updates them or if the page is still active, but I'm glad I found it. Another thing that I'm planning on doing is growing a lemon tree. I guess I could do a lime tree too. So I got fresh lemons and limes to follow a recipe, but also to start growing a tree.
I'm really grateful to my parents for the way that they raised me. We had a lot of structure. Every Sunday, we were gonna go out to eat breakfast and then go to church. There were these expectations where we had to do our chores on the weekends and everything is nice and clean. A lot of my cleanliness and hygiene habits are from both my parents, they're both really clean. I think especially my dad has taught us to value not even just cleanliness, but even sanitization. <laughs> I think I am growing into living alone soon because I'm so clean, I take on an extra amount of domestic labor that nobody else really cares about or even expects of me. I'm just so used to things being a certain way that I just have to do it like that. I want to live here for the rest of my life and I want to raise kids in New York. I wish I had a partner who was from New York City and who was also wanting to do that. In my last relationship, he was from LA and he wanted to go back to LA and he was like, oh, LA is like the best place ever. We have the best food. And I don't know, like I love LA. I have a very strong affinity for LA. It was the first city that I ever fell in love with. Everything in my life just feels a little uncertain and like it's felt uncertain since I quit my job but This is my asparagus fern. This is one of my newer plants and it has a little Pikmin. Isn't this so cute? She is my neediest plant ever. Yeah, she needs to be watered every three days, every four days. I think I have like 11 plants. I give myself missions every year. Last year, one of my missions was to buy a bunch of Asian vases. Then I owned way too many vases and I didn't need any more vases. And now my mission for this year is to get a lot of plant trimmings from my friends and to propagate their plants. This is a Snow Queen Pothos. This is my other one. This is a Velvet Leaf Philodendron and I have also propagated it from my friend's apartment. I don't know how this plant is doing, to be honest. I don't think it's doing very well, but I don't know how to help it. I don't think I waited long enough for their roots to grow before I potted them in soil. But yeah, every day I just spray them with this Mister, it's my roommates. It's so satisfying. Just like listen to it. This actually doesn't raise the humidity by any substantial amount, but I just do it. It's more for me than for them. I'm attending Medicube's pop-up today on Spring Street. I think I'm the worst content creator of all time. I'm running late for one. I haven't even done any of my personal care. My armpit hairs are going crazy. Not that any of these have to be taken care of out of my personal preference. Specifically for an event like this, I just feel like I have to get everything together. This is what I'm wearing to go to the event. This is a dress I made sometime last spring. The weather's so nice, and so this is my hair, how I've done it. I think it's a little loose, so I'm afraid that it's gonna come undone. We'll deal with that when that happens. <laughs> One thing that's really helped me navigate all of the unknowns and moving particles in my life is to think of them as metaphors. Thinking about the decisions that you're making as either hats, haircuts, or tattoos. So obviously with a hat, you can put it on, try it on, take it off if you don't like it, and there's really no cost or consequence 
to trying something new. And it's really easy to try on a bunch of hats. You're not really losing out on anything. With a haircut, the damage isn't permanent, but it'll take some time for things to go back to the way that things were. Sometimes with a bad haircut, there's a lot of temporary shame and embarrassment, but nothing is irreversible. It might take some time. Lastly, with a tattoo, some actions, some decisions, some consequences are forever. And it is very, very, very difficult to undo. Another metaphor for this is thinking about you being a juggler and juggling two different balls. Some of your balls are rubber balls, some of your balls are glass balls. And obviously with a rubber ball, if you drop it, it'll hit the ground and bounce back up. Whereas with a glass ball, once it hits the ground, it will completely shatter. And a lot of life and making decisions is thinking about, is this a hat, a haircut, or a tattoo? Or is it a glass ball or a rubber ball? Of course, all of this is way easier said than done. And during moments of pressure and stress, it can feel like every decision feels like a tattoo or every decision is a glass ball, which is why I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed and trained therapist to give you helpful and unbiased advice. You can go to their website, betterhelp.com and answer a few questions about yourself. And then BetterHelp will do the legwork of matching you with the right therapist. You can do it on your mobile device or on your computer, it's super accessible and you can pick what's most comfortable for you whether it's messaging, a video chat, or a phone call. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can help you navigate which decisions in your life are hats, haircuts, or tattoos.